Hi, this is Robbie with Tickner Photography doing a quick Photoshop demo again. So I went down to the beach a couple nights ago to do some sunset photography and the sky, the sunset was very blah. There was no clouds, there was a fog bank, it was just blah. So this was the only picture that I got that has a little bit of potential and by itself it's not that great. But I thought I would take this and do something more surreal with it in Photoshop. So let's go into Photoshop and see what we can create. So here we are in Photoshop, we have our image. My general idea is I'm going to mirror the sky and basically replace this water, because this water is not really doing it for me, make it a more surreal image, almost a mirage with the boat kind of there on a floating on the sky. First, quickly, I want to do a little bit of dodge and burning on those clouds, maybe bring it alive a little bit. So we'll create a layer here. We want that 50% gray, and another one 50% gray. Both of these, both of those are going to be overlay. This lets us dodge and burn non-destructively. Going to first dodge, and focus here was not exactly perfect, but and we can live with this. So I'll just try and lighten up a little bit of this edge up here, just to make it stand out a little bit more. Okay, I'll lighten up our boat just a little bit. Get this water down here. Everything else is pretty much going to go away, so not a big deal. Alright, that's pretty good. We'll go in here, we'll burn a little bit, but these are going to be pretty minor changes. Just add a little bit extra contrast here and there. There, it just lightens it up just enough. Okay, so our next step, we're going to basically merge everything so we can work with the flip of this. So Control alt shift e will merge all visible layers free transform flip vertically and I will drop my opacity so I can find a good merge point on here and probably right there is good bring that back to 100% we will add a layer mask a gradient and something like that should do it a little bit more okay so that's looking pretty cool. Okay, so we're looking pretty good, but it's perfectly mirrored. I want to give this water down here a little bit of life. So we're going to duplicate our bottom layer, bring it to the top, and we're going to do a lighten color. And here you can see what that did. It kind of let some of the water pass through. So we'll drop the opacity on that. And just gives a little bit of life to this water down here. And that's better. It adds a little bit more believability to this reflection, but still it's a perfect mirror. And that's just not quite right. We won't need some water distortion on here. So we're going to create a displacement map and apply that. So let's go do that. First we're going to duplicate our layer into a new document because we need this displacement map as its own saved document. So the displacement map needs to be first black and white, and it needs to be ultra high contrast. So we'll do that by bringing these together. We still need a little bit of the grays and the transitions in, in the water, but we want it very high contrast in here because the difference between the black and the white is what's going to shift things around. Okay, and for the purposes of this demonstration, that will work. So we need to save this as a separate file. It needs to be a PSD. So now back to our main layer. We're basically going to merge everything again so we can do this as a smart object. So Control alt shift e again basically merges all of our layers together. So now we're working on a flat image. We want to say convert for smart objects. This way we can play with our displacement map and it's not fixed in stone, which would be bad. 
So now that we have our main layer converted for smart objects, we can go to distort displace and we're going to do some extreme displacement. I'm going to say 50 and 50, but we can adjust this because we're a smart object. Go to our desktop and find our displacement map and apply that. And you can see that it really changed the reflection. It changed a bunch of things, but we're going to hide most of that with a layer mask. So now we want to apply a layer mask and a gradient mask to our displaced layer to make it look a little bit more natural because we don't want our boat here. We don't want the sky displaced. Okay, that's looking pretty good. We want a little bit of distortion on that boat reflection. There we go. That's looking pretty good. You can see how what it did to the water here. It took this perfectly mirrored image and it applied the actual, the real water that was underneath it to it. So it's looking pretty good. So this is how I took my plain image and converted it into a surreal sunset that looks pretty neat. I would crop it a little bit more, but this is close to a final image. I hope you found this somewhat useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.